We would like to present our work, Predictors of CPAP Outcome in Hospitalized COVID-19 Patients. Our aim from this retrospective study was to help guide clinicians on the usage of CPAP in COVID-19 acute hypoxemic respiratory failure, trying to answer the following questions. When to start CPAP? Which patients will better have immediate intubation and invasive mechanical ventilation without CPAP trial? When to consider stopping the CPAP trial and switch to IMV? And when to consider weaning off CPAP? During the height of the COVID-19 pandemic between March and June, we used this algorithm. We offered CPAP to all patients who were desaturating below 92% on oxygen therapy at a flow rate of 40%. Some CPAP trials were successful and others failed. We looked back on all our patient data to identify the factors predicting success of CPAP in such patients. Out of more than 600 COVID patients admitted during this period, 89 patients needed assisted ventilation. Out of 52 who had a CPAP trial, 21 did not need intubation, 40%, and were discharged from the hospital alive. 21 needed intubation, 13 survived and 8 died. The 10 that died without intubation were not for any escalation, so the total survival rate after a CPAP trial was 65.4%. This table summarises the differences between the patients who had a successful CPAP trial and those who failed. No difference was seen in age or sex, but success was associated with higher ratio between oxygen sats and oxygen flow, known as the SFR, both before and after CPAP, a lower ratio between neutrophils and lymphocytes on admission blood tests, the NLR, as well as a lower respiratory rate. There was no significant difference in comorbidities between the two groups, but we noted that failure was slightly higher in diabetic patients. Those predictors were, which were associated with CPAP success were a higher SFR, before and after CPAP, a lower respiratory rate prior to CPAP, and a lower NLR and higher PFR. These findings helped us formulating a new algorithm. A non-invasive measure such as SFR can help clinicians deciding on when to start CPAP, SFR below 230 but above 110, and after starting CPAP, when to switch to the invasive mechanical ventilation, SFR below 180. The green SFR means give CPAP, red means need for IMV. A big thank you to all the respiratory team at South End Hospital. Thank you for great teamwork. A special thank you to the fantastic team helping accomplishing this work.